for one, David Seitman Garland from the rise to the top dot com. Interesting conversation going on on Facebook and Twitter today, and I figured I'd bring you guys into it in case you haven't seen it because I think it's something interesting that's going on. So G- Gary Vaynerchuk, good friend of mine, good friend of the show, great guy, interesting entrepreneur coming back on next week on the show. He's got something new going on, and I think it's it's just kind of a fascinating thing, and I wanted to tell you my thoughts and and get your thoughts on it as well. So first of all, Gary Vaynerchuk reached 1,000 episodes of Wine Library TV. It's my relatively not slow clap for that, Uh, which is freaking impressive, honestly, to say the least, because doing 1,000 episodes of anything, I mean, come on, really, really impressive. So Wine Library TV, 1,000 episodes, and now Gary's switched to a new format and sort of a new model called Daily Grape. And and. I find this to be really interesting right now, especially in the online content space. So Daily Grape, essentially short videos every day. So I used to do 25-minute videos, 30-minute videos on on wine. Now they're short ones. They're like five minutes-ish. The one I'm looking at right now, five, six minutes, something like that. Then you can watch those videos for free, just like you always could. You always could. Now, you can also download an app. So you get that the mobile app over here. It's free. I'm reading it right now. Not only can you add wines, you can remind yourself what wines you like. You can use it when you go to a restaurant to, to remind yourself what, what wines you like. You can watch the episodes. So that's like a new element, the new mobile video and app element. And then the very interesting thing here is the monetization. So the way all this stuff is free. And then the one way that Gary's monetizing, and I think this is awesome, is he's doing a paid newsletter. It's called, it's Gary's, I don't even know if it actually has an official name. Let's click on it here and find out. So I'm going to click learn more, Gary's newsletter. So it's an all access pass into Gary's wine world. And so you get this monthly newsletter that's got very much in-depth wine reviews and suggestions and all these different things, and you pay $3.99 a month for it. That's it. $3.99. You get this newsletter and you get to go more in depth with Gary. Now, I want to hear your thoughts on this, of this model. It's essentially, in many cases, a freemium model uh, that we've heard of, of before when it comes to business. But is it something that you think, one, is interesting or maybe something that you can apply for your business and your life is kind of having this free stuff and then having one subscription base or one you know kind of thing there. So what are your thoughts on that? And also the pricing. What do you think of $3.99 a month? Does that seem fair? Does that seem like he's devaluing it by having it too cheap? Do you think that he should be doing it for $49.95 or $0.99? Cents? What do you think? Always want to hear your thoughts. Looking forward to them. See you next time. Bye.